94.5 PST. Did you miss anything with Chris, Joe, and Gianna on Chris and the Crew? Catch up now. This is Chris and the Crew on Demand, sponsored by Trinity Rehab. Schedule an appointment now at trinity-rehab.com. Is it weird to take a ton of pictures with your friends? It's Chris and the crew. Good morning. It's 7.05. It's Chris and Gianna this morning. Joe's off. Yeah, so I went to Sabrina Carpenter the other night with my my best friend. And my boyfriend was like, how many pictures are you guys going to take? And I was like, a lot, sir. (laughs) Don't act like you're not taking pictures. And then I kind of thought about it. And I was like, maybe he doesn't take as many pictures as I do. I don't know if guys do this. I don't know. Is it abnormal? I mean, if I go out with my girlfriend's... God, we're taking 20 pictures yeah. at least yeah, it's just of our fun. drinks, of us in front of the bar, the restaurant. But like when I get drunk too, like my friends are like, you're a serial snapper. Like I just start snapping pictures. I just, I will start taking pictures left and right of the vibes, just candid pictures. I just want to remember the night. Right. And don't guys do that? I think so, but maybe in a different way, or at least I thought so, maybe in a different way. But my boyfriend was like, no, I." it's like an annual thing when my friends- Annual? Said, when we get together and take a group picture. So wait, so they, okay, so let's say they do fantasy football, or they go out to a bar, or they're just hanging out, I don't know, gaming or whatever. They're not snapping some pictures? I feel like once in a while, I guess, there would be like- a picture or a video that's kind of funny, but it's not like, hey guys, let's get together and take a picture. Like I kind of thought that, and then we had a conversation, and then he kind of did he open it. his did he open his phone? Hey, look at my camera roll. There's yeah, none. It's all like fantasy football stats and like pictures of me and the dog. It's like there's nothing crazy going on. There's no group pictures or even just like selfies. I don't really. I guess guys don't do, do that. guys not take pictures. No, I'm thinking of John right now. I got to be honest, unless. I'm posing the guys like if we're all out right. and I say, hey, you guys get together for a picture. They're not doing it. Yeah. And I kind of. They're not doing it at all. I guess I never really realized it because I've seen group pictures of my boyfriend and his friends, but I guess they've all been friends for like 10 years or however long now. And it's like, you only have four pictures together. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't kind of get that either. But And I guess, you know, ever since, you know, obviously since cell phones became so big, I feel like we kind of normalized taking a million pictures. And it's so Because you can easy. delete them. You know what I mean? It's That's not like we're developing true. film anymore, you know? Or you don't have, exactly. And you don't have to like wait to like, even like digital cameras, you don't right. have to wait to download them onto your computer and then print them out. It's right there. Wait, so, okay. We got to open the phones. 609-24. It's Chris and Gianna this morning. Joe's off. So, Gianna, you went to Sabrina Carpenter the other night. I did. And I took so many pictures with my friend, uh, Cassie. We were out and about. And, like, I just feel but you that's do what. this a lot, not just at a concert. But no. I think we all do. We're but with our girlfriends. We take 800 pictures. Exactly. Like, that's what you do. And my boyfriend was like, oh my gosh. Because I he sit says there it's and. not I'll... normal. He said, you are not normal. Yeah. He'll, he's like, you take so many pictures. I can't remember the last time I've taken a picture with my friends. And then we kind of got into a conversation about it. And we scrolled, like, we were scrolling back. And I was looking at his Instagram. And I'm like, I guess you do only have like one picture on here with your friends, but I feel like I, I've seen groups of guys, although I have to say if John's with his friends and it's a group of guys, it will have been me saying, hey, you guys get together. I'm going to take a picture of you. Yeah, Are the pictures orchestrated by women right. or I, I don't know. Let's go to the phones. We've got Courtney in Hamilton on the line. Hey, Courtney, good morning. Hi. Oh, my gosh. When I heard y'all talking, this is so weird because I was just talking to my boyfriend about this. So he and his friends of like 20 years now have never taken a picture together. (laughs) Never? (laughs) No. And I thought there's no way. And we scrolled through his phone. He's right. There isn't one photo of him and his closest friends together. I don't get this. They're not going to have anything to remember their friendship by. I know. And it's like... Sometimes it doesn't even need to be like a big night out. I just feel like sometimes you're like, hey, let's take a picture. And I didn't realize that was such a woman thing. I guess it is. We got to do everything around here, man. Seriously. Oh, my God. Tammy and Langhorn said, I am the picture queen. Uh, This weekend, she went out and took about 70 pictures. (laughs) Ten of them were probably my husband using my phone to take pictures. (laughs) But that's the only time he ever has pictures on his phone is when she asks him to take some. So he has none. 
I guess that's kind of true. John just sent me a John just sent me a text. My husband and he said every single picture that I have with my friends has been taken by you. Yes, we got to do everything around here, man. <laughs> oh my God. It's Chris and the crew. Good morning. It's ninety four point five PST, your number one hit music station. Don't forget your first cash code of the day for thirty grand in your hand is going on. We'll give that to you right after eight o'clock. So Spirit Halloween. Yeah. You know, they're everywhere. The big one's down in Egg Harbor Township. They're just, they're in every vacant store you could imagine. I love Spirit. This year, and you've already been this year, haven't you? I've been a few times. <laughs> I just go to walk times. around. I just go to walk around. <laughs> well, it's huge. Everybody goes to yes. them. Everybody loves them. So they've decided this year that they're going to keep the party going after Halloween and Spirit Halloween is going to become Spirit Christmas at some of the locations. I do did see this and I'm actually really excited because I feel I don't want to I'm manifesting that maybe there could be some like Halloween crossover I have a feeling that they're gonna do Nightmare Before Christmas stuff because they oh, could that keep that sense. in the Christmas section obviously it's not gonna be all spooky or anything but that's just me hopefully assuming that this could be a thing but I that think totally good. makes sense so just 10 of them it's not gonna be all of them because they are kind of like everywhere right, right. um so just 10 Spirit Halloween locations are going to switch over to Spirit Christmas and they're going to have like inflatables and, you know, different like decor things and apparel and stocking stuffers and Santa is going to be at some of them so you can get your oh my picture God. taken. I love it. And like a life-size gingerbread village and, you know, like you That's can write awesome. a letter to the North Pole when you're there, like all kinds of cool stuff. That is it awesome. It actually does sound like a lot of fun. Um so let's see. I'm looking at where they're going to be because there's only 10 of them. There's going to be one. Oh, actually, they're all over New Jersey. That's awesome. And Pennsylvania. Well, let's see. Let's start. Brick Township. Okay. Marketplace at Brick. That's on Route 70. And then Mays Landing, New Jersey. Marlton, New Jersey. That's in Willow Ridge on 73. Um, Woodbridge. The Plaza at Woodbridge. Uh, that's on Route 1. Uh, and then Erie, Pennsylvania. Very cool. These are all like, we're able to travel to almost all of them. Yeah. Like everybody's jump yeah, in the car and go. I have, a, you know, I'm not really into spirit Halloween, but I would go visit for spirit Christmas. I like both. I'll be there on November 1st. Hopefully you'll do like a nice crossover. She's I'll see never both. leaving. I'm not. It's Can't Beat Chris. Can't Beat Chris on 94.5 PST. All right, here we go. It's Thursday. Chris is on a 13-day streak. Doing That's pretty good. Either lucky or unlucky 13. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Hopefully lucky. Jess is in Levittown today. She's going to take Chris on. Hey, Jess, how you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling confident today. I Ooh. love it. Okay. So Jess has played with us before. Oh, did you win or lose? I lost. Ah. Well, what? I don't. That sounded <laughs> terrible. Ah, she said, ah. I don't mean, Rude. I'm not, la no, I'm not laughing. I'm like, whew, I'm more like, whew, I got a chance here. <laughs> All right, Jess, we're going to kick Chris out of here. Chris, say goodbye. All right, I'll be back. All right, we're going to kick Chris out of here, give you a little bit of privacy, Jess. When Chris comes back, she'll answer the same three questions that you're about to get. We'll see who gets more right, okay? Sounds good. All right, your quiz starts now. Taylor Swift was taking pictures with pregnant Brittany Mahomes at the last Chiefs game. Who is Brittany Mahomes' husband? Patrick Mahoon. You want to lock it in? Yeah, let's lock it in. All right, let's do it. Question two. Beyonce was spotted at the Glamour Women of the Year Awards. What is the name of her latest country-sounding album? Uh, oh, um, it's on the tip of my tongue. I know. Um, you got it. I believe in you, Jess. I know you have this. Oh, it's right there. Um, I, I, I'm blanking on it. Mm, it's two words. They both start with the C, both words. And maybe one word Cowboy may have Beyonce's Carter. last name. Cowboy Carter. You want to lock in Cowboy Carter? Let's lock it in. All right. Awesome. And final question. Rihanna released a new Savage X Fenty collection is, is coming. A Savage X Fenty collection is coming soon. What <laughs> rapper is Rihanna currently dating and she shares two kids with? ASAP Rocky. You want to lock in ASAP Rocky? Let's rock it in. Let's do it. All right, calling Chris back into the room. Can't be Chris powered by Legoland Discovery Center, Philadelphia. Jump into a world of creativity, color, and playful learning. Info and tickets at philadelphia.legolanddiscoverycenter.com. What's going on, Chris? Hey there. All right, Jess's answers are all locked in. Okay. 
She's sitting pretty over there in Levittown. Oh, really? Oh, boy. All right. You ready, Chris? <laughs> yes. I'm All right. Nervous. Your quiz is starting now. Oof, okay. Taylor Swift was taking pictures with pregnant Brittany Mahomes at the last Chiefs game. Mm-hmm. Who is Brittany Mahomes' husband? Oh, Patrick Mahomes. You both said Patrick Mahomes, and you're both correct. Got it. Question two. Beyonce was spotted at the Glamour Women of the Year Awards. What is the name of her latest country-sounding album? Oh, um, Cowboy Carter. You both say Cowboy Carter, and you're both correct. Oof. Last question. Here we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Rihanna released a new Savage X Fenty collection is coming soon. What rapper is she currently dating and she shares two kids with? Yeah, they were getting all cozy the other night. ASAP Rocky. You both said ASAP Rocky, and you guys are both correct, which means you guys have officially tied today. Congrats, Jess. Not a loss. <laughs> I mean, I do, I do officially take the W, but you do not have to say that phrase of shame. All right. <laughs> it's a good day, right? Yes, it's a great day. <laughs> Jess, just for playing with us today, you want a pair of tickets to see Justin Timberlake at the Wells Fargo Center on October 11th. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. The Forget Tomorrow World Tour stops in Philly for an unforgettable night. To get tickets, go to Ticketmaster.com. Hang on the line, Jess. Listen tomorrow morning at 740 for another chance to beat Chris on 94.5 PST. It's Chris and the Cruise Daily Scoop. Diddy is going to be in court for the first time today in Manhattan this afternoon in front of the judge that will preside over his sex trafficking case. Now, his legal team told the judge yesterday that he'd like a quick trial. And the lawyer said he's asserting his right to a speedy trial and intends to request a, you know, a trial date of April or May. I guess he's got the right to request boo it's, boo diddy boo it sounds like he wants like as quick as possible because Ugh. probably i mean he hates being in jail i They've tried it, three times to get him out then don't do it right <laughs> don't exactly. do this stuff then you know i read online that the purpose of this is to set deadlines for lawyers on both sides to submit arguments that will establish like the boundaries of the trial so it's getting underway it's getting underway. I so, can't even hear his name. I it know, makes me so disgusting. mad. Disgusting. So J Lo speaking out for the first time about her breakup with Ben. She told Interview Magazine that now she's on the other. Now that she's on the other side of it, she says, "I think to myself, that's exactly what I needed. Thank you, God. I'm sorry it took me so long. I'm sorry that you had to do this to me so many times, girl. Stop." I you cannot. Stay single. How yeah. about that? I, you know what? I, I agree. Stay single. I agree with her. <laughs> so Taylor Swift, wow, stepped up, donated $5 million to hurricane relief efforts for Helene and now Hurricane Milton. I love it. I love I love that. She's just trying to help out. And yeah. She's got a ton. So. I think Dolly Parton also do, do, uh, donated like a million or yeah, something. Yeah, the star should be. Well, not should, but it's really nice to see it. Yeah. Not it that is. they should, but it's nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Really nice. All right. So who do you think sexiest quarterback in the NFL? We just mentioned the Mahomes in Can't Be Chris. He landed, he's, he landed at number six on the list. No? Uh, you don't think he's sexy? He sounds like Kermit the Frog. I was looking for Jalen Hurts. He landed at number nine. Oh, he's below Pat Mahomes. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Number one, Joe Burrow from the Bengals. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You agree? Yep. We're good. All right, there's a scoop. 94.5 PST. I not want you to judge me for this. Now it's time for the cruise court. All right, so Taylor and Ryan are here because she is insisting that they move out of their house. What is happening, guys? Good morning. I, I just want to start off and say, I hope everyone cannot judge me here, um, but Ryan cheated on me with our neighbor. Oh, okay. Um, so you guys are still together after that? Uh, it, it was a one-time thing, and we decided we're going to move forward in our marriage. It was a drunken mistake, and we've worked it out, but uh, it was with our next-door neighbor, and now I just want to move and get a fresh start. Okay, I hear you on that. So I'm assuming the neighbor is still living next door. Yes, and it's painful to see her. I'm constantly reminded of the affair when I go to work in the morning, when I'm taking out the trash, um, or even just closing the blinds and seeing her house. We have to leave. But I don't want to leave. All right, we just bought this house two years ago, and now you want to abandon it? I cut off all communication with the neighbor. We even put up a bigger fence. Oh. If we're, if we're going to work through this, 
and stay married. We need to get away from her. I know you guys don't talk anymore, but I can't even feel comfortable in my own home. I want to be with you and make this work, but this is a little much, right? We've put this thing in the past, and it's time to just live our lives and move forward. Yeah, it, okay, it may be easy for you, but it feels impossible for me. It, where are we going to go? We both work in town. We're only like 10 minutes from both our parents' houses. What more can you ask for? I'm, so, I'm sorry, this house does not feel like a home anymore. <laughs> I know I broke your trust, and I'm I'm very sorry, but it isn't the house's fault. I just I just don't see the benefit of leaving. I just that makes me feel like you want to stay neighbors with this woman who almost ruined our marriage. I don't get it. Okay, um, I'm going to stop you there. We kind of understand what's going on. I'm going to put you on hold. We're going to open the phones. We're going to get votes. I say we, I mean, we do this a lot with couples. I think if you get the most votes, Taylor, the for sale sign goes up on the house. Uh, Ryan, if you get the most votes, I think maybe it's okay to stay. What do you think? I mean, I feel good about it. Okay. That's fine for me. All right. All right. You guys go on hold. We're going to open the phones and see what everybody's thinking. Oh, my. I don't think I could stay in that house. I don't understand what's going on right now. I think she's um, pretty um, accommodating to even keep him. Accommodating (laughs) is a good word. Yeah, accommodating (laughs) is a very good word. I think he's lucky he's even still married anymore, so I would do whatever the heck she says. Yeesh. That's all, all I right, have to say. Let's, let's open the phones. Whose side are you on here? Who's right? Who's wrong? Call now. Call the crew now. 609-243-9778. Or chat with us on the 94.5 PST app. Here on 94.5 PST, your number one hit music station. Uh, so we've got Ryan and Taylor fighting it out. Long story short, Ryan cheated on Taylor with his next door neighbor. Um... Taylor forgave him. He's lucky. And now Taylor is suggesting they move because the house with the woman that he cheated with is, again, let me remind you, right next door. Oh, geez. She's like, it's a constant reminder, you know, and he's like, I don't get it. Like, we just got this house. We both live near or work nearby. Our parents are nearby. Um, well, you blew it. You I blew it, you. Ryan. Forget about her. Uh, you blew it. This wouldn't be me. But anyway. God. All right. Let's get to the phones. Got a lot of people wanting to vote. Corinne in Levittown is on the line. All right, Corinne, whose side are you on? His or hers? I am definitely on her side. They need to move. Right. Right. Let's start. Constant reminder. Yes, that's a good That's a good thing to say. They need a fresh start. Yeah. I agree. How to start over. True. All right, let's go to Shereen Princeton. Whose side are you on? Oh, my goodness. This is like, this is crazy. She hasn't moved on. It doesn't matter whether they sell the house or not. Go ahead and sell it. He cheated. They need couples therapy. Not, I'm going to move and everything's going to be hunky-dory. Well, that's true. <laughs> that is true, a, a Sheree. Move, a move isn't going to fix everything, but it might be a good start. Th- Sheree is yeah. kind of right, though. No, she's right. All right, let's go to Denise in South Jersey. Hey, Denise, his or her side? Morning crew, 150% her side. He's lucky she kept him. And by the way, she needs to get rid of the house and him. Yeah, seriously. Seriously. Oof. Sam and Ewing called in definitely on her side. I so get it. Victoria's in Hamilton. Um, she said she should have cut him loose. If he doesn't move, she still should. A lot of people saying that. Chris and Branchburg, you're lucky that you're still married. Obviously, I'm on her side. LT in Edgewater Park says, happy wife, happy life. You did her wrong. You should be gone. Yeah, I am seeing a lot of her side. What? Oh, I see Alex in West Berlin. She should cheat on him with one of the neighbors and see how he feels. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. How about Dana in Wrightstown? If he gets the most votes, I'm losing all faith in humanity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I wouldn't worry too much about that. I am seeing a lot of her sides, but let's see. I'm going to try and tally the votes up I, and we'll see how it goes. Do we even need to? I could do this very easily. Yeah. All right, let's get them back on. Hey, Ryan and Taylor, you guys have agreed that whatever our final decision is, is your final decision, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think you know your fate here. We're at 96% on her side on this one. Uh, 
Okay. Look, look, I'm not saying you should suffer forever. I do think if she forgives you, you need to get to a place where you start fresh. But this is a unique situation where you shouldn't be staring at her house, the woman you cheated with, for the rest of your life. It's not fair to either of you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Time to start new. Time to start new. And and you're you're lucky she kept you around. Yeah, that is true. Do you buy a pair of pants for five thousand dollars? I don't know if I if I buy anything for five thousand. <laughs> what if they hike for you? Mm. This is cracking me up. What? It's the girls this morning. It's Chris and Gianna, ninety four point five PST, your number one hit music station. Joe's off for the morning. Yeah, there are these pants, these high tech pants that literally hike for you, basically exercise for you. Yeah, it's this company called Skip. It's taking pre orders right now for these pants. That makes hiking easier. So it's got a built-in exoskeleton that gives you 40% more leg power. Okay. They're like, I can, I can imagine they're just like charged pants. They're like, let's go, let's go. Oh my <laughs> God. Just don't exercise. That's they're the- called <laughs> Mogo pants for a mountain goat. Okay. This is confusing me already. The first orders are set to ship next year. Yeah, they they've teamed up with this high end outerwear uh, this outerwear brand called Arc Arcteryx Arcteryx, and you can pre order them online. I was checking them out five thousand dollars a pair. I just don't get why anybody would need these. Now you call some things like shapewear. They're calling this movewear. Oh, cool. They get you moving. So you're like a robot now, basically. <laughs> I I cannot. <laughs> It's Chris and the Crew's Daily Scoop. Diddy is going to be in court today. He's making his first court appearance in front of the judge that is going to preside over his case, his sex trafficking case. Um, His legal team apparently told the judge yesterday that he'd like a quick trial. The lawyer said, you know, like he's asserting his right to a speedy trial. He doesn't want to be in jail anymore. That's why. And he thinks he's going to get out, I think. So he intends to request a trial date of either April or May of 2025. Yeah, those those trials do take a while yeah. to happen. I think they're way backed up. So I read online that the purpose of him being in court today was to set deadlines uh, for actually both lawyers on both sides to submit arguments that will kind of establish the boundaries of the case. Okay. So they're, they're working on it. I don't believe he's... I mean, he's still in jail. So that yeah. third appeal, I guess, didn't work. Well, I hope or maybe he stays he'll find there. out today. Yeah, I hope he stays there too. So JLo's speaking out for the first time about a breakup with Ben. She told Interview Magazine, quote, now on the other side of it, I think to myself, F, that is exactly what I needed. What? I'm over her. Thank you, God. I'm sorry it took me so long. I'm sorry that you had to do this to me so many times. Okay. I, I so just she's think- not looking for anybody. Because everything, she says, everything that I've done over the past 25, 30 years, being in these different challenging situations, what can I do except fly on my own? So she's going to fly on her own. For now. For now. For now. God. She cannot go back with bed ever again because it toys with my emotions way too much. She's frustrating. Taylor Swift stepped up, donated $5 million to Hurricane Relief already. So cool of her. Yeah, it is. So she, um said she's going to help people still from Hurricane Helene. You know, like Asheville, North Carolina is still destroyed. Yeah. And then, of course, the new victims of Hurricane Milton. So very cool of Taylor to do that. And, you know, Netflix every holiday season has a Christmas movie that they, you know, release. Right. This year I'm hearing it's called The Merry Gentleman, premiering on November 20th. And it features um, Chad Michael Murray, cutie. And it's about male strippers. <laughs> Word. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> We're here for it. Very Hallmark-ish. No, yeah. not. Yeah. It's There's so no male it's strippers in Hallmark movies. So on brand for them. Yeah, there you go. All right, there's the scoop. <laughs> Chris and the crew. 94.5 PST. Yeah, so there's something that you're texting that's apparently annoying everybody. And I got to be honest, I am so guilty of this. But I didn't know... That it was totally annoying everybody. It's Chris and the crew. Chris and Gianna this morning. Joe's off. It's those three dots between thoughts. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, I don't do. You do dot, dot, dot. Yes, I do dot, dot, dot. What's wrong with that? You don't do dot, dot, dot. I don't know what's wrong with that. I just, Have I ever annoyed you with that? I don't think so. I, I do I, dot, I, dot, dot when I'm being like dramatic. Like 
last night, my friend sent me a text. She like started a new like Instagram for her business. And she was like, you have to follow me on this. And I said, what if I don't dot, dot, dot. Like I'm joking, yeah. you know, being sarcastic. No, I'm talking about like, I'll say to you, hey, um, do you want to go to the bar? Dot, dot, dot. I'll drive. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. It opens at nine. Dot, dot. What? Okay. Why are we doing that? Do you know they're actually called something? Again, <laughs> I had no idea. I was just reading this There's online. A name for There's it? a name for them. They're called ellipses. Oh, God. Had no idea. I didn't know that. They're the dot, dot, dot that you use to separate your thoughts. Apparently, I'm getting judged for it. Really? Am I really getting judged for that? You didn't even know if I did it or not. Yeah, it took me a while to actually think about if you did that or not. I was watching this TikTok, and it said that really just older people do it. Okay, I'm not that old. <laughs> Stop calling her out. Stop calling me out. <laughs> and that um, they that you'd rather see. Now, you tell me. You'd yeah. rather see completely separate texts, like thought. That's what one, I do. Okay. That is what I do. But I, I do was, that sometimes. I thought I honestly thought that that's would more be annoying. more annoying. I was just about to say, I think I'm more annoying because I send like five texts right. at a time. Exactly. Yeah. That's not more annoying. Hearing like bing, bing, bing or whatever. I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm in the clear, though. I don't think I believe this. <laughs> Chris and the Crew, 94.5 PST. This was Chris and the Crew On Demand, sponsored by Trinity Rehab. Schedule an appointment now at trinity-rehab.com. Wake up with Chris and the Crew, weekdays 6 until 10 on your number one hit music station, 94.5 PST.